Hi, this is the National Weather Service office in Medford, Oregon, with a smoke impacts uh, briefing. Today's August 13th, and uh, if you can hear me, you know, keep your sound on for the most complete information. We're going to start with just some main ideas and then get in some details afterwards. First, we're dealing with the, the hottest summer on record thus far for several locations in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Uh, and the fire weather environment continues to support wildfire growth. So we're seeing fires growing and putting out more smoke. And that's uh, causing the impacts to air quality across the region. The winds at the surface and in the upper parts of the atmosphere are generally weak through Saturday. So therefore, we don't expect significant improvement through Saturday at least. And so smoke continues to build and build in the atmosphere and gets stuck in valleys. And uh, right now it's smokes, uh, you know, if you look at uh, the webcam at Mount Ashland, the smoke is up to about the top of Mount Ashland right now. So it's a real thick smoke layer. Now a cool front pushes through on Monday and when we get that, the winds increase across the area, both at the surface and aloft, and it mixes up the atmosphere. It helps to clear out some of the smoke. So we expect some improvement Sunday afternoon away from the fires. Of course, if you're right downwind of the fire, you're, you still, still have smoke impacts. And there is a better chance for improvement on Monday as we get even uh, uh, stronger winds and the actual front moves through then mixes things up more. How long will this improvement last? Not too long, it doesn't look like. Uh, of course, this is pending fire activity, which we can't predict here, but smoke impacts could worsen again as early as Thursday, but it seems like early next week should be an improvement to what we're seeing now. So we're going to switch screens and uh, get into a little bit of detail here. If, you're, if you stay on for this, we'll go through some current observations, we'll go through the smoke uh, model, and, and then we'll uh, discuss a little bit uh, more of what we expect and why things will change. So uh, this is our website, uh, weather.gov forward slash MFR, or you could do weather.gov forward slash Medford, it'll come here. And we're going to first um, uh, take a peek at uh, the smoke model that we look at. It's the updates hourly and we rely heavily on this. It's uh, been improved over the years and does pretty well in our area. We're gonna, so you click on that uh, icon towards the bottom of the page, um, just in case you missed it, click on this uh, smoke and wildfire safety icon here. And then this is the surface smoke and that means what you know what you're breathing in. Really, this 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 uh, affects air quality because it's towards the surface. So we're going to play it. This uh, uh, few hours uh, old model ran at 10 a.m. and it's about 1:30 now. But you can see this. I'll let it run the whole way and then I'll stop it. So you can see here it starts off. Um, basically, the smoke. Uh, increases, the fires get hot, hotter in the afternoon, push out more smoke. And you can see anywhere where you see kind of this dark blue, greens, yellows, especially reds, that just, the, the more red it gets, the worse, the, or the thicker the smoke and likely the worse the air quality. So this picks out different fires, all the fires in Douglas County, Siskiyou County and Lake View. And it has them uh, and it puts out smoke, uh, predicts where the smoke's gonna go from it. So by this evening, you can see some plumes of smoke moving in Jackson County. Um, Klamath Falls is getting impacted by some smoke. Lakeview from a fire nearby there, and lots of Siskiyou County. Now, if you want to see the smoke aloft, just how thick and how hazy it's going to be, the, this integrates all the smoke throughout the atmosphere, and you can kind of see that. But again, this doesn't mean you're going to be impacted at the surface. And then there's a large area view if you want to see other areas. This is, again, total smoke. So smoke aloft, it includes. Now let's take a look at the fires in the area and uh, peek at them. 
Uh, we'll go up to Douglas County. These are all active. You can tell if they're active by these uh, orange dots here that represents recent heat, I think in the past 24 hours. And you can see here's the Skyline Ridge Complex, Devil's Knob Complex, and then up further north where the old Jack Fire was. That's cooler. You don't see much heat there, but this is called the Rough Patch Complex. So lots of fires up in Douglas County. And that fire, those, that smoke tends to move to the south and east, given what our winds are. Now let's move down another group of fires um, in Siskiyou County. You can see the McCash River Complex here, and all of them have heat on it, right? The orange circles you can see are recent heat. Lava Fire uh, near Mount Shasta does not have any recent heat. That's an older fire. Antelope Fire, still burning, still active in eastern Siskiyou County, and that's sending a lot of smoke. Uh, if the winds are from the southwest, it comes up towards Klamath Falls. A new fire here that just started yesterday, I believe, Patton Meadow Fire, west of Lakeview. That has plenty of heat on it right now. And then the Bootleg Fire, the biggest fire of the summer for Oregon, um, that is not have any heat on it right now. So it's not actively burning, uh, at least not a lot of heat, not a lot of burning going on, but still, still a wildfire and still burning. Um, so uh, that is the the area, the general uh, fire landscape. And again, as we winds are generally light, so a lot of the smoke produced from these fires is just kind of sitting in the region. And then as we move um, towards Sunday, winds will be coming from west to east, kind of pushing the smoke um, eastward, and then they'll increase a little bit on Monday. So even if uh, you know places like Crater Lake still probably see smoke. Um, Sunday and Monday because the winds are will be from the west and pushing it there. But areas away from the fires, those are the places they're going to improve the most. Let's also briefly took a take a look at satellite imagery. So if you go to um, our homepage, you can also take a look at the satellite imagery and get a feeling for where the smoke is right now. So you click on, I went a little too fast there, sorry. You scroll down, click on radar and satellite, click on satellite, and then geocolor. This is the best type of imagery for smoke. And you can see where the smoke and haze is. Now today, it's hard to really get much because it just seems to be everywhere. But if it's a little, maybe Monday, Sunday, Monday, you'll see a little more plumes of smoke. You can see one coming off fire in Siskiyou County. You can kind of get an idea on where the smoke is moving and uh, I get an idea why the air quality is the way it is at your given location. So you can see here it's now it's in motion, the satellite imagery and the winds aloft are moving from the south, but really not a lot of winds towards the surface. It's just kind of spreading out everywhere. That's going to change Sunday and Monday. Lastly, I want to show you the current uh, observations in terms of air quality. You can see the worst air quality towards Klamath Falls that we're reading. If you click on any of these sites, the larger circles are the D Department of Environmental Quality maintained sites, so a little more robust and uh, accurate. And you can click on one and then click to about the fifth bubble and you can kind of get a graph on how the air quality is changing with time. You can see over Medford it's just pretty consistently bad since August 9th or so. And any of these smaller uh, these uh, red squares are purple air sensors, and these are lower cost sensors, but you can still uh, get a feeling for the trends here with these as well. And you can see there's many more of those uh, lower cost sensors. So I'm going to go back to the briefing here and wrap this up. So do we have any fresh air ahead? Uh, there's a chance for it on Sunday, late Sunday. Um, best chance for improving air quality is on Monday. Here's some do's and don'ts in terms of what to do in the smoke, what not to do. Just stay inside. That's the that's the uh, the main advice in terms of the don't column. And I won't read all of those, but you can see the filtering and drinking plenty of water for the do's. And then just lastly, here's some, some links to check out.
if you want to check out some smoke modeling or uh, local observations or some uh, of our air quality experts writing about the smoke situation, there's some Oregon and California uh, links there. That does it for us. Thank you for listening and uh, you can get updates at those locations and again uh, follow your local emergency management for evacuation notices and other safety information should there be any for you to heed.